Most likely, you have already learned about ideal gas and ideal gas law in your chemistry class, so I will be very brief here. About ideal gas, there are a very large number of molecules, so we can use statistics to analyze the system. Two. Molecules move in random directions with a variety of speeds, called Brownian motion. The average separation of molecules is much greater than the size of each molecule, which means the density of the gas is low. The molecules obey the laws of classical mechanics, and they interact only when they collide. So molecules do not condense, nor do they interact chemically. Five collisions are perfectly elastic. So no kinetic energy is lost in collisions. Six ideal gas molecules do have mass. I put this last one here just because many students tend to think otherwise. Now let's look at the ideal gas law. PV equals to nRT equals to nKT. At low enough densities, all real gases tend to obey the ideal gas law. In chemistry, you use PV equals to nRT. In physics, we also use another form, PV equals to nKT, where the little n is the number of moles, the big n is the number of molecules, which means the big n equals to the number of moles times the Avogadro's number. You're familiar with the universal gas constant R. In chemistry, you use 0.0821 atmospheres times liters per mole kelvin. But if we need the gas constant in standard unit in physics, we will have to use this one, 8.31 joules per mole kelvin. Notice that the unit for R is energy per mole kelvin, and for this one, the energy part is atmospheres times liters. If you remember, back when we talked about the Bernoulli's equation, we talked about the pressure being some sort of energy per volume. Some sort of energy per volume. So here we have pressure times volume as some sort of energy. This lowercase k is called the Boltzmann's constant. We can write k sub b or k for it. Boltzmann's constant equals to the gas constant divided by the Avogadro's number, and it equals to 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23rd joule per kelvin. So if I replace the big n, the number of molecules, with the little n, the number of moles times the Avogadro's number, and replace the Boltzmann's constant with the R, the gas constant divided by the Avogadro's number, and we keep the T, and you can you can see that the, this part turns into nRT, right? So nRT equals to nKT. We use R to go with moles. And K to go with the molecules. By the way, you do not have to memorize any of these values. Although I suppose you already know Avogadro's number by heart.